Alright guys, well come back. Let me not eat or oh, let me not eat tea. This is uh, latest evolution egg Android 14. Redmi Note 8 You hold the icon Speed going faster Is this that's the animation of Android 14? Does it do any good on emulation gaming? Well, it's all depend on your driver actually, it's not the uh, Android itself. This ROM are using Arduino. Sorry, uh, OpenGL's 3.2 version 530.47. Consider let us also the driver. on the 27th of October 2022 normally the default driver by Xiaomi uh, 502 but that one also not bad okay this is the Yuzu development well as you know Yuzu the minimum CPU requirement to run the game uh, at 6.5 Snapdragon X 6.5 and with 6 GB of RAM recommended by them so on a low-end device like this Snapdragon 6.6.5 will it run? no how about Skyline Edge? This one I tested it before. You can watch my previous video on the Skyline Edge, the last one, version 69. And the game run on this device, but with using another ROM, not this ROM. This is 114. See? Crash also. For the driver, you can change it. You can use the custom driver. If your device are rooted, you can use the Magis module. Change the driver over here. Change to 615. Right. Normally, this one 615 will run the game on this skyline H see well it's not the ROM so so I will revert back to my last non good CR Droid 9.2 released on the 17th February this year so I will flash back that ROM wait Stay tuned. Wipe format data. Wipe advanced topic system metadata data. 
cache on white internal oh sorry the vendor also one more time vendor cache data right going to install the All ROM CR joints. So I will not using the GFs. Let's see, without GFs. to install the GF also because uh, I need the FK kernel manager for the RAM swap virtual RAM now root medis to 64 let us medis Let me do the setting. one important additional Matters to six four. No module. Okay, let me log into my Google. Right. The development app user head of 
November 1 to 6 and the skyline edge skyline edge final Focus, focus, sorry about the focus. Get the highest one, 4 GB. Miscellaneous, thermal profile, it's dynamic. setting first game folder where are your game folder inside your internal or SD card mine are inside the SD card switch and use this folder okay see without the product key go to setting production key this key 17 product key title key right don't use top notch I can use this one also. Now, the rest, default, this one, you can use. See the default driver 615. This ROM only. Alright, second app, user, same setting also. permission hello select key no key product key game folder Permission allow selecting product key at game folder. Switch is this folder allow done. Let's see. 
our memory already 4 GB right first one we test the official Yuzu from the Google Play Store this one is a pet one setting advanced setting general this one I can use this one picture in picture system leave it as default graphic let's play at default this one is default audio default debug also default let's use the fast memory all right naruto storm 2 screen this is the official Yuzu from Play Store. This is a pet version. You see, loading. Just now I'm using Android 14 with uh, OpenGL 530. It crashed. Bandicoot. So, what's the problem? The driver or something else? See, it's running Yuzu, Yuzu, Yuzu recommend Snapdragon 865, actually they are right, the game better running on 865, as for me, uh, at least Snapdragon 855 or 845 rooted, you see the graphic? Glitch. To fix the glitch, you need to change the driver. See, perfect, perfect. Maybe 10 to 20 FPS. This is a low end device. Don't expect it to run at full speed. Alright. Auto rotate, auto rotate. Next, this one home setting auto rotate home screen. Yuzu development. This one maybe not from the Yuzu team. I'm not sure also. This one is free. You see, the yellow one are paid. This one is free. This one they update it daily, every day. Let's see the setting. Advanced setting. General. We don't use this. Uh, Graphic all default 
debug default everything default so let's begin Naruto Storm 2 remember the RAM virtual RAM as swap RAM overlay show FPS this one white color <laughs> the loading also this one better APS official Yuzu or this development Yuzu no. more or less RTS last one skyline edge setting also the same I try to use the default setting only showing the Game info and the FPS Naruto two. You, if you want to try this ROM, I will upload it. Leave a comment below. This one is really old. The CR Droid nine point two. The last CR droid that using the OpenGL 615. This one is uh, this Skyline Edge. I think the Edge uh, a bit better FPS. Well, not so well, so. If we can test side by side two device no less FPS this uh, Yuzu better FPS Yuzu 17, 18, 19 this one 15 so I'm not going to play the game so the conclusion stock ROM the MI, I, MI UI will never run the emulator even though you root the device some game you can use the magis module module select from my internal and use the older tunip To nip one or to nip four. To nip four. Will it run on this uh, Snapdragon six six five? Yes.
Tanya four. Let's see. This one. What the benefit of Tanya? Well, some game you can pick the graphic list. Some game it crash. <laughs> so the tenip crash. Tenip one, I think. I forgot already. So disable it and restart. Maybe just now the RAM uh, not yet. See the RAM back to two GB. We need to enable it back. Actually, the turnip are working because of the RAM just now. The culprit now is four GB back. So it we can use one or four for some game only and some game you use the default driver by the ROM. Can test it again. Naruto 2. See the game loading because of the RAM. Just now I forgot to see the Swap RAM, the virtual RAM. Loading. The nip, uh, especially. Red Dead Redemption. Oh, raw battery. Red Dead Redemption. This one you need the nip. Also, Super Mario Bros. The nip. Better on it. Legend of Zelda 615. Resident Evil 5. 615 better. The nip also. Okay. The nip will fix the graphic glitch. Alright. Did I answer your question? Why my device crash? Why I got a black screen? Well, actually, it hard to answer the question because the emulator running the game are not designed for Android. The game are for Switch, Nintendo Switch, and we try to emulate the Switch by using the emulator. So one thing the emulator do compile the shaders. The compiler inside the emulator compile the shaders, and then that shaders read by your GPU driver. If your GPU driver can read the shaders, because the compiler can compile the shaders with when the game starts, you see the shaders compile. That means the compiler running the job. It compile the shaders. Only problem your GPU cannot read the compile shaders. The shaders are compiled. via your RAM some of the pre compile shaders are stored inside your internal storage so the game uh, folder inside your Android data all over here Yuzu Yuzu 
skyline this is the development user this is the pet user skyline file your save file for the development one always back up it copy to your other storage over here none user save this is the the game folder the Naruto 2 copy this one to your SD card or other part of your internal storage so the shaders the uh, this is the cache normally shaders are over here the Naruto shaders see the game folder of the Naruto the shaders the pre-compiled one are stored here Falcon pipeline because the compiler using Falcon driver if your GPU can read the shaders it crash or worse the graphic cannot render properly that's why we use the custom driver for GPU to install the custom driver let's say Skyline uh, is setting GPU GPU here okay system driver over here install so where you download the graphic driver search for it for me inside my SD card GPU driver this is the, the driver that are working for the uh, SD665 turn it 615 install this one also ok install again 690 install again 615 install again 61550 install again how many driver you want up to you choose which one are better and sell the crash 61550 enable it that's it as for me I'm using the 615 default this one just enough same performance as this one Except some gain, I need to it. Some gain only. So, for Yuzu, same thing also. For the setting, GPU driver manager, see the system, install, go to your game driver let's uh, it let's see very simple for rooted device magic module the driver inside the app any emulator app only working for that app only for the skyline I install 615 Yuzu I install the trip only trip working on for this emulator it's not affecting the system for Magis it will affect the system all the app will be affected if you got the uh, other Android app PUBG or any other game the TNIP will affect 
the performance of all the app inside the phone that's why magis are better but you need root 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 to root unlock your foot loader that's it thank you for watching i will do another request maybe <laughs>